Welcome to our first Vainglory Guide with G2. This series of guides will help fresh players become familiar with different aspects of the game and will get you that one step closer to becoming Vainglorious. Today we will be covering map awareness and vision control, the paramount objectives in Vainglory. The main aim of placing skull traps is to obtain vision in high traffic areas. However, they should be placed in a spot that minimizes the probability of it being activated by the enemy. You should try and place traps in the enemy jungle whenever you can. This will not only give you information on the enemy sooner, but also let you know whether you can take objectives such as gold mines safely. One thing you should keep in mind when placing mines is that if the opposition sees you doing it, they will most likely try to pop it immediately, wasting your precious money. However, this can also be used to an advantage by luring them into an unfavorable fight. Scout traps can also be used to aid in holding strategic positions, such as the jungle shop. As you get better and more efficient at placing scout traps, you will notice how you have more gold left to spend on other items. Most of the time, the duties of vision control are assumed by players in their own position. However, that does not mean that carry players, i.e. laners and junglers, should never buy mines or flares. It's always a good idea to buy one mine or a flare to prevent lane ganks. The significance of vision control will become obvious when you start seeing what the enemy is doing and being able to anticipate their next move. If you are dominating opponent's jungle, try and place some traps around their jungle entry points. This will let you judge how much of the jungle monsters you can take without being engaged on. Some more aggressive vision control can not only let you stay safe, but also provide your team with ambush opportunities. The most important area of vision throughout most of the game is the middle of the jungle. Having vision there alerts you of incoming enemies and prevents them from secretly capturing goldmine or kraken. Good scout trap placement can also decide the outcome of a fight, especially in the early game. Try to place traps out of enemy's vision and bait them to step over it. Last but not least, try and apply everything you learned just now in reverse. You don't want that Kestrel sniping you when you are on low health. As you can see, some traps applied vision until the end of the game. Great bang for your buck! Now we will quickly walk you through the map, showing some useful and unique placement spots for your skull traps. This skull trap placement will give you two pieces of information. First, it will let you know when the enemy is starting the particular jungle camp. And secondly, it will tip you off when the enemy is going to shop. Putting mines behind the healing creep will prevent them from being activated most of the time, unless the hero taking the creep is melee, like Taka. Placing scout traps around the rocks will provide you with some long-term vision of the area. As before, try to place scout traps in positions that are the least likely to be walked through. Having vision of this area is very important if you want to pressure the first turret or gold mine. If you see enemy junglers doing these camps, together with some cooperation with your own team, you should be able to take the gold mine with little resistance. Finally, if your jungle invade was successful, you should place some scout traps around the enemy's jungle entrance. This will minimize the risk of being ambushed by the team who has just shot and is at full health. Also, if you're planning on doing gold mine or kraken, you should ensure you have vision on the path separating jungle from the lane. This will let you gauge whether the opposing team is aware of you doing the objective, and if so, if they are trying to contest it. Feel free to check out our other guides, including the famous Dark Potato Scroll Guide. You can find the link for the video in the description. Please don't forget to follow us. That way you won't miss a single guide and we'll get to Inglorious in no time. We hope you enjoyed our first guide and we are looking forward to seeing you on the Halcyon Fold.